I could not stop. I literally couldn't. I was trying to find a place to stop and comment. And it just made no sense. Hey, what's up? A.A. Ron here for my 49th reaction video. We're going back to the warning. This is choked. Many of you recommended this. Um, I saw some discrepancy in terms of which version. So I've got, I think it's the music video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they have blown me away, the two uh, reactions I've done already. And definitely looking forward to a third. I have the lyrics pulled up. Let's dive right in. I could not stop. I literally couldn't. I was trying to find a place to stop and comment. And it just made no sense. <laughs> um, wow. The, these girls are just a power rock trio. Um, what can you say negatively about them? First and foremost, the talent is absolutely there, right? Um, you know, Danny's vocal prowess here is fantastic. Um, you know, she's got quite the range 
you know, screaming in tune and, and dancing around. I mean, that was quite a lot of vocal agility here through that, um, adding the grit and, and, oh, that was beautiful. And then, um, you know, I'm always, always, always impressed by Pow. Like, those drums are sick. Like, sick. Um, and then, you know, uh, I mean, Ali on the bass, when, when, when Ali came in at the beginning and Danny started singing and the, the bass and the vocals hit together, ooh, that was just, it was, it was mad, magic. I mean, just magical. I won't survive the fall. So not when the, not when Ali started playing, but Ali right there. That sorry, I started talking over, but that right there hit so hard. And then you just hear a um, up an octave guitar riff in the background uh, that Danny's playing while singing. Um, so much talent here. Um, okay, let's talk. About, so there's not a lot of visuals here other than kind of the drown, drowning scene and letting go and that struggle. So you know, we're not going to talk a lot visually, um, but let's do talk about the lyrics, which I have pulled up. And I'm pretty sure I understand them, but uh, I want to look at them start to finish and make sure I fully do before I discuss my interpretation of it, which may not be correct. Uh, although, um, as I've come to learn and realize, it sounds like a lot of their lyrics do intend to be ambiguous intentionally. So, um, yeah, I won't say goodbye in the end. It won't matter. Oh. That line really stuck out at me. Such powerful lyrics. Okay, so the way that I'm interpreting this is is not a is not a physical let me drown. Um, it's it's a metaphorical, and to me, it's like a despair, um, hopelessness, um, like a yearning for release, right? Like dealing with so much stuff, so much on the plate, um, and not having a way to release that, right? It's like this emotional struggle and surrender, um, and not necessarily sure how. Right. Um, there was um, I wrote down a couple of these phrases. So like I won't say goodbye um, and I won't survive the fall. They, these imply like resignation. Um, but then it just says, let me drown. Right. Push my head. Choke me till I drown. They, they highlight that desire to like give up. Right. As if, you know, yearning to let go of that pain. Now, the symbolism of drowning, I think, is, is a metaphor for continuing to seek deeper and deeper into you know, despair, emotional depression. Um, and this is a real problem today in our society. And it makes perfect sense if my interpretation is even slightly accurate that, you know, the warning would be covering this because, you know, it's definitely something that, you know, we need to provide support and, um, you know, mental well-being, mental health is an important thing in today's society. It's a severe, it's, I mean, it's incredibly important, right? Um, you know, I made a point, you know, I was uh, managing a team of 180 people and I made a point to make sure we stop and actually discuss with all of my leaders so that they work with their people. And we organizationally put in place mechanisms to make sure that people understand that mental health is real and that they can take a personal day for mental health if need be or, you know, if they need help, get it. And, you know, resources aren't just available in organizations, but globally. And, um, you know, again, if you ever need to talk to somebody, ping me, um, you know, you can you can re uh, email me. I'll put my email address on here and we can start some conversation on Messenger or something. Um, reach out to your friend, your family. Um, it's so important that you do get that and seek that. And there's no shame in admitting it. Right? Get professional help if need be. There's no shame. I mean, we're in the process of dealing with something that, 
you know, and I say process because it's not over. We're still feeling the effects and the impact of it, right? Of COVID, which is something that we've never experienced. Nobody that is alive today in our generation has experienced what we felt with, with COVID. Then you add all the cyber bullying and all the stuff. I am absolutely paralyzed and, and, and afraid of the bullying, especially cyber bullying, that's going to take place with my kids as they grow up. They're only eight and six now, and I don't think they've really seen it yet. Um, and so, you know, and, and the name choke, right? Like I'm choking. I'm just now putting that together, right? Like I'm choking. Um, so again, this is an important topic. I'm so glad they're discussing it. Um, okay, what else? Um, wear your tears like jewelry. So that was a very powerful one I saw. And to me, it, it, it suggests like, how can I phrase it? Almost like emotional exploitation, right? So art being dead, right? is like you lose personal creativity or hope. Almost feeling isolated, disconnected. And then there's this concept of like repetition, right? Being on hold. Uh, um, where's that lyric? Um, like a machine every day, I'm on hold, right? Like it indicates that repetitive mechanical existence. The narrator feels stuck. I mean, then there's contrasting emotions, comfortably in pain. Um, you know, the phrase I always said is it hurts so good, right? Um, this is deep again. And just so well put together, they're jamming out. They sound so stinking good. And they're so comfortable growing up here now. They're, I mean, they're rock stars. Um, thank you so much for recommending this. I'm definitely going to be doing much more of the warning. Let me know what you think. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so now. We will see you in the next one. Thank you.